This is DMG. Welcome to the DMG Info, a channel all about making tabletop terrain from household items cheap, quick, and easy. And in this one, we're going to talk about how to make an oven. It's the weekend again, so it's a DMG crafting video and you're gonna need a piece of cardstock, a toilet roll and a ping pong ball. Right, let's put that aside. Uh, wait. Stay. 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 Stay there. Stay. Don't move. Blue tack, ping pong ball, stay. All right. So we're gonna grab the toilet roll pair of scissors and cut off a piece that's approximately one centimeter wide and uh, put that aside for later and so you'll have this sort of band of cardboard so just bend it back into shape get some hot glue run it around the outside edge and then put it onto the cardstock and make sure to just make sure the shape is still round and then just put that aside. Well, we grab the ping pong ball and get rid of the blue tack. And uh, yeah, so it's genuine dollar store ping pong ball. You see it's got a little line there. Doesn't pull apart very easily. So uh, we're just going to use a craft knife. Now be extremely careful here. Do not stabbage yourself. Try to cut away. You'll see it goes in. It's such a very cheap ping pong ball. It goes in. It's extremely soft. So, um, yeah, this is the kind that you want. You don't want to spend like $20 on a ping pong ball. You want to spend a dollar on like 10. That's the kind we're looking for. And you're just going to slice along that line that you saw. Uh, you may get a problem like this, but don't throw it away. Do not throw it away. We're going to use it in the next video. Yes, the next video. So now this is a little bit jagged, this edge. So we're going to just use a pair of scissors and kind of slice off the jaggedy bits, or the uh, protruding pieces, or the little bits that shouldn't be there, the mini bits, and you should then get a somewhat flat, uh, round fish of the uh, ping pong ball. And then you're going to grab a texture and a uh, black marker, and draw uh, the, where the opening is going to be. So um, it's a little bit fidgety there. Oh, put some eyes, a smile. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, put some personality in your terrain. A pair of scissors and just then cut along that line in order to cut this little piece out. So that's the opening for the oven. It's very pizza oven-ish, but so what? It's an oven, isn't it? Live with it. It's nice and easy, lemon squeezy. So that's how things go. So there you go, a nice little oven shape. Then you grab the cardstock with the ring stuck on it, cut that out so you've now got a flat top, and then hot glue to the bottom of the oven piece, the oven dome, if you will, hot glue on there, and stick that down onto the flat top of this cardboard ring. So uh, that was a little bit fidgety on the side there, but okay, everything's everything's fine. Don't look. I'll just fix that later. All right. <laughs> fixed with editing so there we go that is the oven shape but of course we're not finished here we do need to add a chimney so we're going to grab another like two and a three eighths of a centimeter center well like ah i don't know just eyeball it you know there's too many measuring things in the world to worry about this kind of stuff so just roll it up a little bit cut it so that you've got something that's approximately one centimeter in diameter Make sure the edges are straight and it's not a little bit warped so you can clip off there. Hot glue one of these. You would have seen this before in one of my column videos, but that we're doing the same thing. Stick the edges together with hot glue. Once the hot glue is a little bit cooler, you can wipe it with your fingers. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. Keep its shape. And then, excuse me, and then put some hot glue on top of the dome and place that cone, not cone, but cylinder on top. You'll see it's a little bit, uh, that's the wrong angle, so we just turn it a little bit until it, oop, there we go. There it is. Nice and easy. 
a nice big chimney coming out of the top of the oven dome. So there it is, an oven. So we're just going to have to paint that up. Now, of course, what's really good with airbrushes is that you can get into all the fine little areas in the terrain like this. But I'm going to do a DMG lab video on airbrushes. As you know, in the past few videos, I have been experimenting with them. So expect that to come out very soon. So now grab a flat edged brush. And uh, the reason for that is we're going to mix in some black and white paint and you're just going to swipe on some squares onto the mouth of the dome and along the inside edge. And then we're going to create bricks using the same technique and boot to speed so that we can now do these bricks around the whole dome and then bricks around the edges of the substructure. And I vary the black and white mixture so the grays are not all identical. So there's a differing look to them. And then I stagger the bricks along the chimney in the normal sort of brick pattern. And uh, that's essentially the whole process. You can then highlight the edges, do a little bit of dabbing with some white so that it blends in with the same paint technique of your tiles. Depends on how you've done it. If you've done it my style, then this should blend in quite nicely. So there we have it. Fresh painted up oven. Now, well, let's go and put it on some terrain so we can see how it blends in nicely with the other bits of furniture and stuff in the DMG universe. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. So that's an oven. And that is a dungeon on the wall. That is how, if you're looking for a space, a pace, space to store your tiles, store them on the damn wall. Who would have thought of that? Hmm? Anyway, if you like this video, like button, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and of course the website, the DMG Info, where you can go to the store and purchase items to help financially support the making of this channel. So up there you'll see a video that I recently put out. Down there is a YouTube video that YouTube recommends. And of course, up here you can subscribe and down at the bottom there, you can of course check out my other channels and stay within the DMG universe. I urge you to press one of those, click, tap, throw the remote at the TV,